Hey, hi, hello, my brethren in Christ. Just kidding. We don't do nothing in Christ's name over here. Um, <laughs> um, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I'm a mess and I'm a low key. No, I'm not low key mess. I'm a high key mess. I'm a low energy, low maintenance video girly right now. So you're like, Jessica, I don't mind your business. Okay. Like, is you here for the video? Is you here for the video? Hello, you here for the video? Sorry, I need very ah my desk. <laughs> I need to lock the day. I keep forgetting to lock it. Anyway, I need low low barrier. Why does this keep not focusing? Focus on me. Actually, I mean, I understand. I don't want to focus on me either. Low barrier, low. Not hard. I need easy content. There's the word. I don't know why I'm trying to make it fancier. Anyway, I was going through. Well, I was going through my mini tabs because I have them on my laptop, but also on my phone. And I was like, let me try to close some of these. So Andrew won't judge me when he sees. Not like he looks through my phone, but when I'm trying to show him something, he's like, oh my God, what tab are you? I'm like, mind your business, okay? I'm saving things for later. Anywho, so this site, Fantasy, oh, what? Fantasyfaction.com had top SFF books of 2022, which I thought was really interesting. You know, I don't know how to read that good, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna look at this list and see what they think of the top 50. And then also I wanna choose five, one, two, three, four, fifth books off this list to try to read myself before the end of the year. Now it is March, which is disgusting. March 2nd. So I have time, but I'm going to go through this. You know, if I have any kind of reaction, let you know. Um, let me screen record this. And yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Some of these I may not have heard of. There's 50. Uh, okay. You know what? Also, I should choose. I want to, okay, for the five, I want to choose ones. Maybe I have not. No. Okay. I don't. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay. Out of this list, there has to be at least 10 that I have not heard of. And I want to choose five that I have not heard of. And I want to read those instead of ones I've heard of. I want to choose five that I have not heard of and read those because I I I realize that something I miss pre book internet for myself is just like going into a store and perusing and just like oh looking at this book and now we have so much like well, I see book stuff on Twitter on TikTok on Instagram YouTube like I'm just aware of things always coming out and you know I know unfortunately too much about authors so if I have not heard of it. I need to write it down. Okay, we need a list. Mm, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, let me move over. Okay, you see this? You're not about to see this because I'm about to put the, the recording of the screen there. Okay, Guy Gabriel K. Heard of him, have not heard of this book. All the seas of the world. This says on a dark night, mm-hmm. A coast of a ship sends two people ashore. Their purpose is assassination. They've been hired by the two most dangerous men alive to alter the balance of power in the world. Mm. Interesting. Okay, well, I heard of the author, but I haven't Rick wrote. <laughs> haven't heard of the book. Sorry. Might be got the coffee jitters. Might be got. Go ahead. Go on. Get up. So I'm going to write that. All the seas of the world by guy gab k <laughs> and give him a nickname okay adrian tchaikovsky eyes of the void which okay i know adrian tchaikovsky i have one of his books on my shelf i have not heard of this one but it's the second one so i'm not going to count that one but this is the final architecture number two what's the first one in this one is this the I, I, I feel like he has so many books coming out, but I don't know what the first book to this is, but I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not trying to set myself up for that. Okay. Right. But like he writes a bunch of sci-fi and one day I'm going to read Children of Time. That's on my shelf by him. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize these are going 50 to one. So at, we had 50 with Guy, Gav, K, 49 with Adrian Tchaikovsky, 48, The Final Strike, which I have heard of by... Sara L. Arifi and I've heard a lot of people really love this. I tried reading it and I don't know if it was me 
or if it was the book, but I was struggling. So it was just like a soft DNF. I'm gonna get back to it though. Um, Akata Woman, which is the third in Nydia Corfor's uh, series, which is the th cool. Cause I think it started as like middle grade, young adult, and then maybe this one's supposed to be adult because it's Akata Woman. But again, I DNF the first one. I'm not rereading it, no interest, but love to see that on here. Then, uh, so many sequels. Stream of the Heart, The Innkeeper Chronicles number five by Alona Andrews. Not, never read any of Alona Andrews work. I know Mara would be ashamed, but I'm definitely not trying to jump in with no number five or read the first four before that. So we're gonna keep going. Oh my God, Dread God by Will White. Will, yeah, Will Whit, Will White, excuse me. I have like the first nine eBooks on my Kindle. There was like a deal, they were all free. And I have not read them, but I heard they're good. And Q and TG, who I don't I don't think they're they haven't made videos in a really long time, but they're really awesome. Um, they talked about this author, and that's the reason that I got the books. But this is number eleven, so we're gonna keep going. Okay, Kai Kei. I was supposed to read this for that Goodreads thing. I have no interest. Um, wait. No, I lie. I was supposed to read Cersei. That is completely. Okay, I know of this book. I don't want to say no interest. It's just not high up there. But it's higher than like Cersei would be because it's not Greek mythology. I believe it's Indian. Um, but again, not high up there. But you know, what is high up there right now? Because I don't read much. But I wouldn't. I, yeah, you know, maybe one thing. Oh, number 47. Okay. 43. I can't read the first book on this list that I've read. The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches, which was amazing. Five stars. I loved it. Um, it is like set in modern day, but in England and we have witches and this witch who goes to help these young witches um, learn to use their powers and like control their powers. And there's a little romance subplot and just like found family and warmy ushy Ugh. warmy gooey goodness what it's not a chocolate chip cookie but it's very cozy fantasy with romance and you should read it okay fevered star well i read that one anywho anthony ryan the martyr haven't heard of this one but it's number two, Covenant of Steel. Anthony Ryan, I know that name. I have not read anything, but I know that name. But again, a number two. Okay, another number two, Hannah Witten for the throne. Y'all, we have only got one book on this list so far. Five might be pushing it. Um, That one's after For the Wolf. So I'm not reading that. I didn't read For the Wolf. Okay, now I might regret this. This says Spear by Nicola Griffith. I have not heard of this. I hate, I hate seeing this. The girl knows she has a destiny before she even knows her name. She grew up in the wild in a cave with her mother. Hey, okay. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She knows that her future lies at his court. So we have magic. Eager to test her strength, she breaks her covenant with her mother and with a broken hunting spear and mended armor, rides on a bony gelding to care Leon. Mm. Mm. Lord, she will find love, the lake, and her fate. It all right. I said it. I said it. So I'm gonna write it down. Spear? Has anyone heard of this? This person has heard of it. Whoever made this list, all right. It's number 39 now. It's number thirty. Maybe I should put that on here. 50. And this one's number 39. Okay. We've got two so far. Woo! Um, Discord of Gods by Jen Lyons, final one in that series. The first one is the, whatever, I don't know what it's called, The Ruin of Kings. So, no. Then we have Lachlan's, the third one in the Foundry Side trilogy, which I really do want to read Foundry Side. Have not got there. I do like this cover though, so this is a no for now. Sea of Tranquility, heard of it by Emily St. John Mandel. And I don't feel like I would I would vibe with this. I tried to read Station Eleven and I was just, mm -mm. I tried to watch the show for Station Eleven and I was, mm -mm. so I already heard of this. Thank God, because I don't want to read it. Hello, what is this? I don't know what this is. Sons of Darkness, the rag of RTA, the rog. 
by Gurav Mohanty. Well, I haven't heard of that. Some ballads are inked in blood, bled dry by what? Bled dry by violent confrontations with the Magdahan, Magadan Empire, the Mathurin Republic, Simmers on the Brink of Oblivion, Krishna and but they will soon discover neither gold nor alliances last forever lord have mercy let's hope there are more than five because i don't know if i want to read this but i'm gonna write it down because i said it was sons like i don't even i don't need i really don't even know what this is about i was getting tired trying to read the synopsis sons of darkness I come up with all these dumb ideas like I'm gonna actually read. You don't know though. You don't know. I might. Okay, Speaking Bones, number four in the Dandelion Dynasty. No, I have not read the first one. I haven't finished the first one. The Oleander Slo... Slo the Oleander Sword, which is the second one after the Jasmine Throne, I believe, by Tasha Suri, which I need to read the Jasmine Throne. A Prayer for the Crown Shy. Now, I have read the first one and I really liked it and I do want to read this one, but I've already heard of this. So for this this video purposes, I'm not including this one, but I do want to get to that. The Doctor of Daughter Moreau, or whoever that is. <laughs> I swear this is just coffee. The Daughter of Doctor Moreau read it was bored um now what is this this is number three thank you i don't want to read it i don't even know about it. it's called the nova incident by dan morin but it's number three so we're skipping past that the hunger of the gods number two so i haven't read the first one wow are we gonna get anything from this list <laughs> maybe two books okay this one i was about to say but it's a number two okay oh my god the first binding i heard of it it's very long i'm not reading that one the world we make I read the new, what's that one called? I don't even have it anymore. What's it called? The City We Became. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Love, Nora. Not for me. Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Gondas. Okay. I have not read that one. Very, I'm interested in it. But it, I do, I have heard of it. However, comma, we're on number 25. So this project is not looking too good. I only got three books on here. So we'll see. Maybe we have to come back and add some on here. How High We Go in the Dark. Thank you. Excellent book. I need to buy it. I want to reread it. It's like little vignettes of like different people and their experience of this pandemic that's in the book. And like, but they like, in, they like interconnect. It's, it was good. It was real good. Siren Queen by Nevo. Don't want to read it. Already heard of it. So thank the Lord. Excuse me. Now what the hell is this? The Children of Gods and Fighting Men. Oh God. Oh, it's number one. Damn. It looks Norsey. Okay, let's see. 981 981 AD the Viking king of Dublin is dead his young widow Gormflaith has ambitions for her son and herself but Ireland is a dangerous place and kings tend not to say kings for long Gormflaith also has a secret oh she's an immortal race who could do fire magic mm, okay well we're gonna write this down this could be promising we don't know but at least we have number four now the children of gods okay why such a long title and fighting men my jesus shauna lawless what a name no this is number 22 oh my god house of bread and onions or <laughs> that book that second one by sarah janet um, I'm still reading the first one. Uh, the Girl in the Moon. And that's a number three. Good. Don't want to read it. Lost Metal. I still need to read that. But I, I, I need to reread the the Bands of Mourning before that. So we're not getting to that. Now what is this? Oh, it's a number three. Very interesting cover though. What? 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. That, I didn't look like that cover. Number three, The Book Eaters. This was on my anticipated list for last year. I haven't really heard much about it. So maybe eventually I'll borrow it from the library, but I already heard about it. Daughter of Red Winter. God damn it. Why is everything the beginning of a series? <laughs> okay, I have not heard of this. Who is Ed? I don't know Ed. Ed McDonald? Okay, those who see the dead soon join them. Wow, rude. Rain can see and more importantly speak to the dead. It's a wretched gift with a death sentence that has her doing many dubious things to save her skin. Seeking refuge with a deluded cult is her latest bad survival related decision. Hmm. All right, well, that one sounds more interesting than some others. Daughter of, I hope I can read my fucking trick and trick and trick. Chicken scratch at the end of this. I've never, is Ed McDonald a new author? Is that an old author? This book is at number 15, so, hmm, interesting. Okay, Start as Thief, already read it. The Art of Prophecy by Wesley Chu. I've heard of that one. I've seen that cover many times on Twitter. Very beautiful. The Kaiju Preservation Society by John Scalzi. Heard of it. None of the Ninth. Heard of it. What is this? Number four. I like that purple. Nail and Bone. Heard of it. The Spirit Cut Through Water. Heard of it. Really because of Angela. The Golden Enclaves. Yeah, heard of that. Yeah. The Catherine, yeah, heard of that. Legends of Lattes, read it. Justice of Kings, heard about it. Heard it's great. Heard about it. I know that's right. I know that's right. Who wrote this list? Yes. That's right. Number one, bitch. Babel or the Necessity of Violence by R.F. Kuang. Mm. Yes. <sighs> uh, yes. Okay. Now, sorry. Sorry for that. Um. Uh, sorry for that. Where were we? Okay. So I literally have exactly five books. I thought I was going to have more choice on here. Um. Let me make sure I didn't skip none. I heard a fairy tale. I want to read the Justice of Kings, but I had already heard of it. I read Legends and Lattes. Very good. I do not. Look, I already heard of this one. Um, and I don't want to read it. So, you know, and I heard of this one and I heard this one is like the third in a series. And then I heard of this one because of Angela. So like... I mean, as like, if I couldn't find one, that could be like a runner up. The spirit cut through water. I've literally only heard of that um, because of Angela. But like all the rest of them I've heard of or they are the third or fourth in a series. Like I heard of this one. Oh my gosh. Wow. What an interesting list. All I know is I support number one. And so now I really have to go through with this because who is the person who made this list? Who runs this website? Who is it? Who is it? Do they have their name up here? About the author, Jenny Ivins is the editor of Fantasy Fiction. She lives with her math loving husband and three autistic boys, set of twins and one singleton. Okay, you know what, Jenny? Great list. Simply from number one, great list. So now I have to read All the Seas of the World by Guy Gavriel K, or as I like to call him, Guy Gav K. Spear by Nicola Griffith. Sons of Darkness by, I cannot read by handwriting, Gu, Guvar McHanty? Unsure what that says. The Children of Gods and Fighting Men, Shauna Lawless and The Daughter of Red Winter by Ed McDonald. I have 50th place, 39th, 35th, 22nd, and 15th. Because of course I read number one, hello. All right, so I haven't heard of these books until now. Have you heard of these books before now? Or was, did you learn about them at the same time I learned about them? Huh? Tell me. Also, if you have heard about them and you read them, do you think I will like them? Now, it's March 2nd. When I'm recording this, I have till December 31st to read these. And if I don't, let me think. I don't know. I don't know. I 
don't know why I'm trying to come up with something because it's my channel so I make up the rules. But anyway, I would like to try some SFF outside of things that I know and are familiar with. And so here's my list. And uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me. I will put the link to this um, blog if you would like to go back through and look at the titles. And there are prior years linked down here with the best of. I'm gonna finish my iced coffee, even though that might seem like that's not the best idea, mind your business. I hope you all are well. Right now, I am okay. We'll see how I feel later. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> Stay blessed, hydrated sunscreen. Stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized and sunscreen. And like, you know, drink some water. Wait, yeah, hydrated is drink some, okay. <sighs> I need a nap, goodbye. <laughs>